And we're getting a first look tonight at police body cam video of an officer involved shooting that left one Tracy teen hospitalized. Uh, we're also learning a little bit more about exactly what happened during that shooting after the Tracy Police Department held a press conference just a couple of hours ago. Fox 40's Rowena Shaddix was at that press conference. She joins us live uh, with the latest on that investigation. Ro. Well, Nikki and Eric, the team that is involved is from Afghanistan, and the chief said there may have been some language barrier involved. But he said that his officer made it clear several times before he fired his weapon at the suspect to drop that weapon. It was a knife. He says they take these incidents very seriously, and officers, they don't use deadly force unless it's absolutely necessary, which is why they've only had three officer-involved shootings in the past 20 years. A Tracy police officer responded on Friday afternoon to Silver Tail Place and Foxtail Way for a suspicious circumstance. He described the armed subject as carrying a knife with a blade larger than six inches. A neighbor's ring video captured what transpired with the family shortly before police arrived. Chief Siku Millington says that an armed 17-year-old boy had gone after several members of his family, including his older brother. Officer Carlos Ramirez, a 28-year veteran of the department, arrived on scene and contacted the older brother. See the young suspect then ride in on his bike with the knife in hand. He advances toward the officer and the older brother behind him. Then you hear the officer yell to drop the knife five times. Before shooting him twice. The boy was struck in the abdomen and arm. The suspect is still holding the knife. That's correct. He didn't drop it until after he was shot. Yes. The second time. Now, after a review and in preparation for the release of this information, that Officer Ramirez is acting within uh, department protocol. And that 17-year-old boy remains in the hospital, but he is expected to survive. Police say he will be arrested on several criminal charges, including assault with a deadly weapon. Reporting live in Tracy tonight, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News. Ro, thank you. The family